Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to the first ever Lineage Red Knights daily update video. I decided to start a series very, very similar to what I do for Monster Super League, where I go over my daily progress and what I plan to do and accomplish on that day. Um, I think Lineage is a game that actually has a slower progression, I think, compared to a lot of other games. Um, you you can't really you can't really like make something happen in one day. You kind of have to have to plan it and then do it and then um, just very very slowly raise monsters and stuff for for whatever reason that you you want. Um, but at the same time, while you're while you're progressing through and you want to like you know pick up a new new pet or something that you want to raise, um, it's definitely easier. I think compared to a lot of other games, you just basically feed them a bunch of EXP potions and all the materials that you had before, like a lot of them were like leftover, so you just basically go through the map and the drop rates are usually pretty good for like the lower level mats and you just basically just farm and you can pretty much within like a hundred energy um, get a monster up to like, you know, purple quality or something like that. So. I want to make a series just basically updating everything that I do in the game and just kind of show you guys, uh, maybe like play a little bit and then you guys can can kind of get an idea for what I do in the game because in a lot of my guide videos I don't actually show any gameplay, I basically just click around and I talk about stuff. So I wanted to show a little bit more gameplay and I think it, it will be a pretty good idea to do it in my, my daily series where I can actually um, you know, go through go through the the tower and stuff every day. And actually, I already did like half the stuff I was supposed to do today. I just kind of got the idea while doing it. But I can definitely still show you guys something and talk a little bit about more about you know whatever. So first things first, I I bought this bunny. All right, I bought the bunny. I I I couldn't resist. Like you know, just 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 look at how cute he is. All right, let me turn off my music. Like, like seriously, listen to this. Listen, listen to this. All right, I'm gonna turn off, turn on the volume. Just listen to this. Dude, he is the cutest thing ever. Holy shit. Okay. Um. Anyways. 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 Um. I don't know. I'm not going like full pay to win. I just, I just bought the bunny. All right. I just bought, I just bought a bunny. Don't, don't like. Don't, don't freak out, please. I just bought a bunny. Um, but yeah, the bunny, the bunny gives me, gives me exploration. Like it gives me extra exploration rewards. I think it's better to buy the bunny than to buy any other pack. Like, well, not buy the bunny, but like buy a pet, like one of these uh, monthly pets. If you want to spend anything on the game, like I think buying this is probably the best thing ever compared to any of the other packages, because he offers just so much more um, compared to everything else. In my opinion, that's just like what I, from what I understand so far, he offers so much more. Um, explore, explore, exploration rewards wasn't actually the thing I was going for. I was, I was actually going for the the diamonds. I'm not planning to do like mass summoning for diamonds. I think that's kind of a waste. I kind of want to use diamonds mainly just for um, just for refilling, and so I can so I can like basically play more. I think the exploration rewards definitely helps because explore, explore. Oh my god, I can't talk. Exploration is the main way you get materials for crafting, and then you can craft and make more powerful items. I just realized something today, like I didn't notice before, but um, when you power up items like green items plus plus um, pass plus seven, and then blue items, any item, other items um, that's like blue quality or above pass plus three there's actually a chance for the item to get destroyed when you when you try it um, for example if I try to do this it, this message pop ups pops up your item may evaporate when your enchantment fails I want to like test this I actually tried to try to do it with my bow and I, I tried to get a plus eight and actually evaporate it so I had to make a new one and um, you know get it back to plus seven but that's just something you guys might want to keep in mind if you guys want to power like have all of a sudden get this like rare item that you bought in the shop um, and you want to power it up like don't don't do it all the way just get to plus three for the for the extra bonuses and then I think I'm probably not going to power anything up unless I have like leftover maybe arena points or something like that and I'm just like I want to I'm feeling lucky, all right. Then, then I'll then I'll try it. Like if I have leftover arena points and the same item is on sale in the shop or something like that, then maybe I'll do it. 
Um, but I really don't want my items evaporating, especially with how how hard they are to get right now. All right, so that's that's the first thing. The the second thing is um, I I think I'm just farming now. Like there's it's gotten really really hard for me to power up my monsters to to plus three, like um, purple plus three, because these materials are just so hard to get at at, the, at story mode stage five, and you can't enter story mode stage six unless you are level thirty six. So I think, in my personal opinion, the most important thing in the game is actually your player level. I think early on, I wouldn't say this is the most important thing for for the rest of the game, but because eventually we're gonna hit a max level, right? Um, but early on, I think the most important thing in the game is actually your player player level, because I've noticed just by being like level 30 right now, how easy it actually is for me to go back to the the stages earlier and get all the materials I needed to get like you know monster to from like green to blue to purple um, because of the drop rates like if you if you take a look at um, I don't know what's what's a good example let's 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 take him for example he's, he's at purple plus 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 zero right now and you know to get this you can get the these off stage four but if you want to farm these magic flutes on stage three it's like just so much harder for the, for you to actually get them they're like so much rarer on stage three but they're super common if you farm them on stage four so my my point is if you if you have your player level higher like right now it's taking me tons and tons of energy just to farm um, a few of these elven wings but i i think in the future if i'm able to farm on stage six these elven wings will probably be pretty common like it'll be pretty easy to get and another different type of resource is going to be the thing that's going to be hard to farm on that stage. So I think progression, like I think it's, um, it's pretty smart of them for for them to do this. It makes you makes it so you can't progress too fast, and it makes it feel like you're still working towards something that's like you know somewhat hard for you to to work towards. But it's easy for you to like raise another monster once your level is already higher. So I think the game design is definitely definitely um, spot on for for this. But the thing is, like, you know, in, in terms of just gameplay, like trying to progress, trying to trying to be the best around. Uh, the most important thing probably is definitely to raise your your overall player level. I think that's that's the number one thing you want to do in this game, um, and that's the reason why I, I chose to get the bunny instead of the other ones, because like the bunny gives more diamonds, and diamonds means more daggers, and daggers means more levels. You know, so that everything just just uh, completely translates over. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I also wanted to test out a new team for for um, PvP, and it's actually this one. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't tried it in a in a battle yet. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to try this. See if if it's any good. Is this a succubus? Holy shit! Is that is that four stars already? These these pay to win assholes. All right, I'm, I think I'm pay to win now, but I'm I'm not a I'm not a cow, alright? I'm not I'm not a fucking cow. Can you dig it? Mm. Yeah, this one this one's lower than me. I wanna, I wanna find someone under a hundred. Let's let's see if I can find someone under a hundred. Dude, this is too easy. Alright, let's let's just let's just start with him first. Let's uh let's finish him off. Give let's put him out of his misery. Oh shit! This team isn't working the way I wanted it to. Oh shit! I can't. I sh really should not do this without a tank. I'm a fucking dumbass. Okay, my my comp isn't working that all that well. I don't think. Or actually, wait, maybe it's working. Okay, I. That that was. This is a horrible idea. Holy shit! I'm such a dumbass, dude. I was trying to do a comp without using the Dark Knight. You know, without using a tank, and just having my uh, my 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 guy in the front line to tank, but he actually died too fast. God damn it! I'm so bad. All right, I'm gonna change my defense party. Back. This is just so dumb. Let's actually try this. Maybe I'll try this for for the next fight, but we can't do the next fight for like five minutes. So, um, we'll try it next time. Alright, we'll try it next time in a different video. 
So yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty much it. I think in terms of progression, I'm basically just trying to trying to I, I raise my succubus. I think um, it's a pretty good idea to raise your succubus now because they're gonna give away like succubus pieces. I think I'm not sure if it's enough to make her four stars, but very very close to making her four stars. Um, but she's not farmable anywhere, so you probably just have to summon her. You also get a skin for her, which is really nice. Like the skins give you extra critical rate. And it, it looks really good too. Just look at this. This look awesome. Dude, I love the skins in this game. Holy shit. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Sorry you guys had to see see me get wrecked. Uh, but we'll 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 win next time, alright. We'll win next time. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.